One of the questions I'm always asked is about cannabis. People say cannabis is harmless, and, and they're right. For most people, cannabis is harmless. But if you happen to be one of those people with a family history of psychosis, cannabis isn't harmless at all. It hugely increases your chance of developing schizophrenia. People have been worried about cannabis for centuries. In fact, uh, one of the oldest studies was called the Indian Hemp uh, by the Indian Hemp Corporation in the 1800s, and they were interested in cannabis and psychosis. But the big studies came out in about 20 years ago, and they were from Sweden. When people are 18 in Sweden, they go for national service, and they have quite a thorough medical exam and questionnaire. And, and they ask people things like, you know, how many drugs have you taken by the age of 18? And the most interesting thing for me is people actually answer them and answer them truthfully, which uh, wouldn't necessarily happen in many countries. Because what they did in this study is having done that, they then took the results of that medical exam and they linked it to people's health service use over the rest of their life. And they found that the amount of cannabis that you'd taken before the age of 18 was directly linked to your risk of developing schizophrenia. If you'd taken cannabis one or two times, it didn't seem to make too much difference. But after that, the more cannabis you took, the more your risk of developing a psychosis. So following that, there's been quite a lot of research trying to work out what this means. And what people have found is that cannabis seems to be toxic to the brain. It not only increases your chance of developing psychotic symptoms, but it also has direct effects on the structure of the brain. If you are a person with a family history, Taking cannabis increases your chance of developing psychotic symptoms, but it also directly damages your brain. It shrinks your brain. So cannabis is actually uh, very important and very linked to the development of psychosis. What a lot of people then say is, well, that's fine, because there's no family history of psychosis in my family. I'll just take the cannabis and there's no problem. And what they forget is the level of stigma that there's been in the past. You may well have a family history of psychosis and no one will have told you. People used to sort of make sure that this was uh, really not um, passed down the generations, that nobody told anybody that Aunt Maud or Uncle Harry or something had a psychotic break at some time. So when you take cannabis, it's like playing Russian roulette. You don't know whether you're the person who has a vulnerability and who is going to develop psychosis.